everyone, this is Mary over here at Images on the Page. Today I'll be reviewing Colorado Wild by Sarah York. I gave this book two and a half stars, and I will talk about why. But first, the synopsis. So this is about a group of guys who live on this ranch in the middle of Colorado, and they are part-time ranchers and part-time assassins, which is kind of an interesting mix. They kind of work outside the purview of the government. It's kind of can it's not a hundred percent sure how that works because the kind of boss, main head honcho guy, Duke, kinda it seems I think he says somewhere in the book that he got the money to start the ranch from the government, and I don't just I don't know if that just means that he worked for the government or they helped him set it up. But they don't but now they don't correspond or affiliate with the government. Like, the government doesn't review any of their actions. So they kind of, uh, from what I've read, it seems like they just go after bad guys who are making chaos in the world and who are being able to get away with it because the government doesn't have enough evidence against them to put them in jail. So one of the main characters, his name is Grant. Um, we kind of meet him and he seems to be kind of in the it's of heartbreak. So some, so this is kind of cool. Some of the guys on the ranch are gay and some of them aren't. And it's like not really a big deal. And they're all kind of forthcoming on who is and isn't. And so Grant, who's kind of like the second command to Duke, he's kind of going through a heartbreak because one of, so a significant other whose name is Craig, decided that he couldn't do it anymore. He couldn't be an assassin and decided to leave the ranch. And so they don't have, and he just kind of disappeared off the map. So Grant is kind of left in the wind, like he doesn't really know what's going on, he feels lost because they didn't really have any closure, like he, Craig was just like, no, we're done, I can't do this anymore, and he left. So we meet him, and that's where he is at in the beginning of the book, and at the same time they are also recruiting a new member because one of them left. So the guy they are recruiting, his name is Roger, and... Him and Grant seem to really hit it really off, hit it. which is kind of interesting because like Grant really doesn't want to deal with it because Craig is gone and he loved him, so he doesn't really know what to feel. And then at the same time, there's other guys who are getting together in a relationship. And so that's just kind of the main premise. There are This is the first book in the series. I don't actually know how many there are, but the reason... So I gave this book, like I said, two and a half stars, and the reason I did that was because, I mean, it was fine, but they did the thing that kind of bugs me where it seems like everyone's going to end up in a relationship. So there's only guys at this ranch, which isn't an issue, but so Grant was in a relationship and it seems like he's going to be getting into a relationship with Roger. That's not a spoiler, that's just kind of like my feeling on it, my guess. And then there's another guy, a couple guys who end up getting together and then there's kind of like the start of something for another couple of guys. Like the reason I read it so low, one of the reasons is because there's just too many, many relationships going on. They're just trying to set up too much at once. Like I just feel like it might have been better if they had followed one or two because there's one of the relationships outside of the Grant Roger one is one of the guys who um, says that he's gay. His name is Billy. His name is Billy. He's out and proud gay, which is cool. And then one of his best friend is actually Tucker and he always says he's straight and he's always going out with women but he like never seems to find the right one. Well Billy has feelings for Tucker and he finally admits it and Tucker decides to give it a chance which is I have no issue with because it's one of my favorite tropes is where like the guy is always been with women or whatever and then like there's just this one guy or girl like if it's girl girl guy guy like that they've been interested in of the same sex because I feel like that is a bit more honest to sexuality like it's not just black and white like that and so that was I liked that part but I didn't like any else anything else in the relationship just because Billy so Tucker is really nervous because he's never been with a guy he's only been with women he never really thought of it before Billy so he never really explored, so he's really nervous, he doesn't know how far he wants to go, and Billy kept promising, you know, that he'll go slow, he won't push him. And then every turn he's pushing him to do more, like, oh, just, just give me this baby, or come on, just try. And then it's just, 
it really made me really uncomfortable because it's just like that's not like if he says to go slow that's not going slow when like within less than a week you're finally I mean and that would be fine if that's what Tucker wanted but it's just kind of it always felt like Billy was p pushing the issue and it made me really not like Billy at all actually he was probably one of my least favorite characters just because I don't feel like that's how it should like that's not how it should work that's not you shouldn't do that to your partner like you should respect their choices and so that was really hard for me to sit with and then on top of all that everyone kind of getting together them setting up these different relationships Grant with possibly Roger Grant with his past love Craig Billy and Tucker and another couple guys who are just best friends but there's always like everyone wonders if there's more so that makes the reader wonder that made me wonder if there's more then on top of that there's this big bigger theme of well they're trying to assassinate people um who they think will who are only doing harm in the world and one of during on a mission they are compromised and so like there's this bigger overarching thing of like them being found out and the repercussions of that and there's more but I don't really want to spoil it so it was just it was really hard for me to settle with a lot of the things and I just think that the author would have done better if she had maybe only focused on Billy and Tucker's relationship with like Grant in the back room because it seemed like Grant was mace only blah, blah, blah. Grant was mostly the main character in which we followed him and his dealing with getting over Grant and or <laughs> getting over Craig and then him feeling things for Roger but then so like if she had maybe put that on the back burner since that's they kind of aren't going anywhere in this book like they do have feelings and they do have things but then it's just like the Billy Tucker relationship was super rushed and I don't know if that was because she wanted one of the people to have a happy ending but it's just it was too much way too much to deal with in this book and the overarching theme is interesting but I don't know that it was enough because it was just kind of like they were fine and then there's like the first half of the book where it's all about their relationships and they're doing just these missions that have kind of no impact on it seems like on the bigger story and then right at the end is when like this other mission happens and like things kind of go sideways and then that's when it happens and it just seemed like oh well I want to write more books in this series so let me put a bigger issue in there and I don't know that I agreed with that so I don't know maybe I'll read another one maybe I won't to see how they deal with the bigger issue and they deal with the other relationships but just be cautious going in if you do decide to read this because like I said the Billy Tuck relationship left a pretty bad taste in my mouth it made me really uncomfortable I had a hard time getting through it I just I wanted I, I wanted Billy to stop pushing it pu pushing Tucker for things that he didn't want so those are my thoughts on Colorado Wild by Sarah York and I will got and I will see you guys next time ta-ta for now <laughs>